everybody. Alongside adding new pets with the Unicorn Pack, Teamwood has also decided to add the most mythical pet of all, the Pet Rock. The Pet Rock is a pet that has no ability whatsoever, and it's mainly used to transform one of your opposing team pets into so that it loses any ability that it had. And with pets like the Cockatrice that can turn pets into Pet Rocks, it actually can be pretty strong. Especially with the Unicorn Pack, most pets aren't just big units like the Bison and heavily rely on their ability to win a ground. But if transformed into a rock, they kind of become useless. But anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Like they could add, I don't know, they could maybe add a Corgi. I think Sap is also hard to balance because all the attributes are whole numbers only. That's like every other card game though, right? Like Hearthstone? Even though it's digital, there's no like decimals. New pet just dropped tree with smiley face. <laughs> Mandrake. Love Mandrake. Gotta level it up though. This Sphinx reminds me of that Sphinx from the uh the Fairly Odd Parents movie. Where it like came to life, kind of had that same face. You know what I'm talking about? They could start making plants. I mean, if they could somehow collaborate, or if Pokemon just ripped this idea. Pokemon Sap would be amazing. Daze is really strong. It just completely shuts down any of the pets. I mean, you have to be leveled, but... You're kind of good as well. Blue Fox is just bat. No, it's a tier one version and it all, it hits the back line guaranteed and they have to not have any ailments or perks. If that makes sense. Oh, we got Nessie. Didn't you play an auto battle with knockoff Pokemon? Uh, it was not knockoff Pokemon. It was just like a fan-inspired Pokemon. And then Spider doesn't even summon anything. Is the genie a tiny little clown? Oh, you're talking about Super Auto Battlemon. Sorry. Yeah, that was not Pokemon. I thought you were talking about Pokemon Crown. There was a Pokemon fan game that was an auto battler. It was fantastic. Yeah, Battlemon got an update today. Prologue came out. 
So I guess not an update. Prologue. Which I still don't understand. This is the first I'm hearing about Pokemon Crown. Oh, Pokemon Crown's amazing. Let's go Cockatrice. What if we level up Cockatrice a ton and just make a bunch of rocks? Oh, you crit me? Ah, we're okay. Rock is so funny. Yeah, I mean, like, if you have Mandrake, Cockatrice... You remove, like, all of their abilities. But I guess it does happen on the front end. Or on the back end. So the front end is still pretty decently strong. But we still win. I guess we also don't need the weakness if we're making rocks. Like, do this to just look for Nessies. Wait. Transform the back most level two or lower. Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't target multiple things? It just targets one. Your level up is not that good. Mana does have a passive on its own. Oh, I should have just leveled you up to three. I thought this was going to turn three things into rocks. I mean, you turning into a rock is so good. Like, now you don't even get your ability. But you keep your held food. Which is important. And then we get level three Nessie. Which is huge for us. I think I use my rolls. Just to give you some stats. And then I'll level you up to two next turn. Okay. See, that's bad rock hit right there. But we have a 50-50 boat. <laughs> I guess I would rather just roll, because spending six gold on you is worse, because we only get three extra rolls. We just roll everything. Does crisp count as an ailment? Yes. So we turn you into a rock, but you get your ability off, so it doesn't even matter. What just happened? <laughs> I don't even think I don't even think you used your ability. We just won.
It'll be the dizzy streamers. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I was going to do them anyways, because I feel like some of these pets need explaining. And especially for A to Z, I'll definitely do intros, because that does need a little explaining. Also, does anyone know what a mermel is? Where mermel comes from? No intro, just act like it's normal. Act like it's the turtle pack. Copyright free murloc? You think so? I don't... I feel like that's... Because Murlocs... I mean, I guess it is. <laughs> Listen to the summon sound. That's fair. I feel like they're playing a little risky. <laughs> I guess it's I guess it's not risky. It's just there's so many references. Like the Lord of the Rings, Castlevania, but like obviously wall chicken can like anyone can use a chicken that's on a wall. here. I don't know. You have one health to one random friend. I mean, I want to see what happens when you get a knockout. Don't forget alien. Nah, uh, invader or whatever it's called. Trespasser. <laughs> Look at all that health. Visitor. Ah, that's what he has. <laughs> the visitor. <laughs> like a horror game. Invader? Ah, yes. Invader is in the game. The visitor in Italian is just called Alien Predator. <laughs> I like this slime. Is Abomination the first uh, achievement for A to Z? Yeah, it is. Aardvark. Okay, I mean of the ones I haven't done. <laughs> oh, double bad dog. I mean, evil book is definitely the way to go. We're going to go to good dog. Going in order without other pets is going to be tough. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to do it all in customs. And I may not do the restriction. We'll see. Made a full A to Z sheet for you. We'll share in a second. Sweet. As long as I can just keep track of it, I don't think it really matters if I get other stuff level three. I think the goal is just to build around the pet at this point. To show off its ability, not just have it on your team. Because, like, for Abomination, I feel like I'd... Like, other, like I want to do multiple different synergies, so the achievement doesn't matter. Because we want to win multiple times. And 
any lesser used pets in other packs getting a big buff from these pets? Yeah. Yeah, like, we'll do that as stuff as well. Like, some type of scaling stuff will be really good with the behemoth. So you give health and this thing survives. Crane Behemoth. That's pretty good. Oh, we're fine. Great one. I think I'd like, yeah, hit the level three here. And then I hit this. We have Team Spirit. Level 3 Team Spirit. Oh no. You kill everything. Rika, thank you for the sub. Oh, should it be doing? Oh, it is. It should be doing 18 damage. It is bugged. I need to level up. I don't want to buy you. Are you permanent? You're not permanent. Oh, I should have bought both of those. That is not... That is not that strong. But we survive. But now the book's gone. You know what? You might be kind of good. You take much less damage. That's still a strong team, though. Would love... There we go. Oh, that's good. Imagine if Yeti froze chocolate. That would be great as well. Zero damage. Yay! You give two, so then it's like that.
Scooty Booty, thank you for the seven. Oh, you taking less damage is gonna be great. And then we trade with the peanut. I guess it doesn't matter. Taking zero damage? Huge. 